today we start with the same question which we have done last uh, last uh, class this was the question x uh, is equal to under root a power sin inverse t y is equal to under root of a power cos inverse t this we have done by a way last time now i'll tell you a shortcut also uh, by which you can do this question and that will be easier also only the thing is you should remember the property of trigonometry inverse trigonometry so for that what we do here first this is x this is y complete result we want in x and y t is not coming in the result so what i do here first i take x square that will be a power sin inverse t and when you take y square it will come a power cos inverse t when you multiply these two it will come x square y square equal to a power sin inverse t into a power cos inverse t or i should say it will be a power sin inverse t plus cos inverse t and then it is clearly come out to be a power pi by 2 is your x square and y square so very simple relation left now x square y square is a power pi by 2 we got in this case and only the thing is now we should differentiate and when you differentiate it will come 2x y square remain as it is second time it will be 2y dy by dx x square remain as it is and other side is zero now when you solve it this two get cancel out i got it x square y dy by dx will be minus x y square and directly now i can write dy by dx will be minus y by so this is the easier way you can have this question so two ways i told you one is the complete differentiation which we have done last time and this is another way we can complete this question right next question please x is equal to 2 cos theta minus cos 2 theta and y if you take that is coming as 2 sin theta minus sin 2 theta my question is prove that dy by dx comes out to be tan 3 theta by 2 this we have to prove so in this case what we do first we calculate dx by d theta what this will come minus 2 sin theta here when you solve it it will come minus 2 cos 2 theta into uh, sorry cos 2 theta derivative i am taking so it will come out to be uh, plus now because cos 2 theta will be sin 2 theta now so it will come out to be plus sin 2 theta into same way we go for dy by d theta that come out to be 2 cos theta minus cos 2 theta twice and then we need dy by dx so it will come out to be dy by d theta into d theta by dx dy by d theta is this that is 2 cos theta minus 2 cos 2 theta divided by 2 sin theta minus 2 sin of 2 theta and now only the thing is you should solve it just to solve this two will be common and cancel out left is cos c minus cos d formula is what 
माइनस टू साइन सी प्लस डी बाई टू सो थीटा प्लस टू थीटा बाई टू एंड देन साइन थीटा माइनस टू थीटा बाई टू सेम वे वेन वी गो फॉर साइन सी माइनस साइन बी इट विल कम आउट टू बी टू कॉस थीटा प्लस टू थीटा बाई टू दैन इट इज साइन थीटा माइनस टू थीटा बाई is something wrong we are doing or it's okay yes sir we have taken it's 2 sin theta plus 2 sin 2 theta not minus question was minus na yes sir so cos theta derivative is plus sin theta uh question was cos dx by d theta if i take that will come out to be uh this 2 sin theta This will come plus then. Just check here. This should be plus. Something minus uh, mistake is here. Uh, minus two sine theta plus. I'll just take the question once more. Maybe minus mistake somewhere we have done. I'll just take it once more. X is two cos theta minus cos two theta. So when you go for dx by d theta, it will come minus two sine theta plus it will be coming two times sine of two theta. So this was the mistake I think we were doing. Same way we go for dy by d theta. That was two cos theta. Minus two cos two theta, and then we go for dy by dx. So this will come out to be two cos theta minus two cos two theta, whole divided by. Now this will be two sine two theta will be the first one minus two sine theta. This was the mistake we were doing. So now it's correct. After that two will cancel out. This already I told you. Then it will be cos c minus cos d formula say minus two sine c plus d by two so theta plus two theta by two and then sine of theta minus two theta by two same way sine c minus sine d it will be two cos theta plus two theta by two and then come out to be sine uh, two theta minus theta by two. Now, when you solve it, this is sine minus theta by two will come, and minus sine sine of minus theta is minus sine theta. So I'll write this two will cancel out. This minus I remove now. Left is what sine of three theta by two, and this has come out to be sine theta by two. It was actually minus theta by two, but minus is already here, so we have cancelled it. Then come out to be cos three theta by two, and this will come out to be sine theta by two. So these two get cancelled out. Answer is coming ten three theta by two. Next question, please. Uh, excuse me, sir. Yes. Uh, sir, actually, uh, waiting room me, Khushi uh, wait kar rahe. So he is saying that you please take it inside. Le बेटा मेरे पास तो है ही नहीं कुछ भी खुशी को मैंने एडमिट तो कर दिया था चलो ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन प्लीज एक्स इज इक्वल टू ए टी प्लस वन बाई टी एंड वाई इज इक्वल टू ए टी माइनस वन बाई टी Question is prove that dy by dx. Prove that dy by dx is y by x by y. This we have to bring. X is given a t plus one by t. Y is a t minus one by t. Now we should find out what is dy by dx. So when we go for it, dx by dt. A is here. T हो गया one. 
माइनस वन बाई टी स्क्वायर सेम वे वैन बी गो फॉर डी वाई बाई डी टी ए टी आपका हो गया वन प्लस वन बाई टी स्क्वायर Then I got it d y by d x will be d y by d t into d t by d x. So it is about to be what? A one plus one by t square by a one minus one by t square. Now we have to prove this as d y by d x is x by y. How to do it? We want x by y. Yes, anyone? A get cancel out. That is not a problem. X by y. We want this result. So what I should do? This is t plus one by t. This is t minus one by t. This is x and y. So there is a slight problem we are facing if you do this way. Can anyone tell? Sir, we can take LCM and we should not cancel a because then we will make a and okay, means a one. Okay, then then it will come. So we should not. Okay, let it be a. T square plus one by T square, and here it will come out to be a T square is LCM T square minus one. This T square get cancel out. So we should not cancel that out either. We can cancel it out later. Only one T will get cancelled. The other way will convert into X and Y. A now if you divide numerator and denominator by T, so it will come T plus one by T. Here also, if you divide it by t, so it will be t minus one by t. Yes or no? This is what x and denominator is y. So this way also you can proceed the question. Next question, please. X is equal to sine cube t. By under root cos two t. This is an CRT problem we have. Y is equal to cos cube t by under root of cos two t. My question is: Find dy by dx. The question is: Find dy by dx. So, if you want dy by dx, first I should start with dx by dt. This will go by division rule, so I should write this as under root of cos 2t whole square. Then this side it will be coming cos 2t. Derivative of sine cube t will be 3 sine square t into cos t. Then come out to be minus sine cube t remain as it is and under root cos 2t 1 by 2 under root cos 2t and cos 2t t ratio derivative will be what minus sine 2t into 2. Now. This two and this two get cancel out. Minus and minus, this will become plus. So I got this as root of cos two t into three sine square t cos t minus and minus plus. Now it will become sine two t into sine two t by under root of cos two t whole divided by. Cos of two t. Now I'll take the LCM of cos two t in the numerator. 
root of cos 2t is the lcm when you take it now this will become cos 2t into 3 sin square t into cos of t then plus sin cube of t into sin 2t and this cos 2t is still there so into cos 2t is here this is our dx by dt now we go for dy by dt when you go for dy by dt again the formula is the same division rule it will be root of cos 2t whole square Here it will come root of cos 2t into 3 cos square t into minus sin of t minus that come out to be cos cube t into under root cos 2t will be what 1 by 2 under root cos 2t and cos 2t will be what Minus sine two p into two. This two and this two again cancel out. And again, I am taking the LCM as root cos two p. When you take the LCM, this will become three minus is here. Three sine square t cos sorry sine t. Three sine t cos square t and then cos two p. Then here it is minus and minus plus. What this will come? Sine two t into cos two t. This is your dx by dt. Dy by dt we have divided by dx by dt is this. So I'll write this as cos two t into three sine square t cos of t plus sine two t into sine two t. Whole divided by root of cos 2t and cos of 2t. This part clearly get cancel out. After getting this part cancel out, now we will be having numerator is this, denominator is this. So I write this as now 3 sine t cos square t. Cos 2t formula we have already done. Cos square t minus sine square t. Sine two t formula is also with us. Sine t to sine t cos t and cos cube t remain as it is. This is our numerator. Denominator is again three sine square t cos of t and cos two t will be what? Cos square t minus sine square t. Then plus. Sin two t will be two sin t cos t into sin cube of t. Now in numerator and denominator are something common. Just check here. Sin t is here. Sin t is here. Cos square t is here. Yes. So numerator says it is common sin t into cos square t. When you do this, then left is minus three cos square t minus sine square t plus two times sine t and cos square t. So cos square t left. Same way in the denominator, what is common here? Sine square t, yes, and cos t. The left is three cos square t minus sine square t, and then left is sine square gone out, cos gone out. Left is what two sine square t. Now one cos clearly cancel out, one sine clearly cancel out. Left is cos of t into. Now when you solve it, it will come three. Cos square t minus का plus हो गया three sine square t 
प्लस टू कॉस स्क्वायर टी डिनोमिनेटर इज साइन टी लेफ्ट हियर इट विल कम आउट टू बी थ्री कॉस स्क्वायर टी माइनस थ्री साइन स्क्वायर टी प्लस टू साइन स्क्वायर टी Now when you solve it further, cos of t remain as it is. This left is what minus cos square t left. This and this plus three. And what I do here in this case, if it is cos, so this is also going to convert in cos. One minus cos square t. Same way when you go here, sine t. Then this will be left is three. This I'm completely taking in sine. So one minus sine square t. This will be minus three plus two. So it will be minus sine square t. After getting this, I'll say it will be cos t minus cos square t and minus three cos square t. So it will be minus four cos square t, and then plus of three. Same way when you go for sine t, it will come three minus three sine and one, so four sine square t. Now we will multiply this cos t inside, so it will come out to be minus four cos q t plus three cos of t, and denominator will be three sine of t minus four sine q of t. Now you have to take minus common from here because the formula says cos three theta formula is four cos cube theta minus three cos theta. So I take minus common. Left is four cos cube t minus three cos t, and denominator is already there. It is a formula three sine t minus four sine cube t. Now, if you solve it, what it will come minus? It will be cos three t. Here it will come sine three t. So answer comes out to be minus cos three t. 